الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد ابن القيم رحمه الله تعالى mention more than 60 benefits for the person who remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often the person who is one of the dhakirin or dhakirun those who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala much and often and i just want to in a very concise manner just mention 10 10 very important benefits that al allama al imam shaykh al islam ibn al qayyim mentioned rahimahullah ta'ala The first thing he mentioned is that by remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that this is a way of scaring off the shaitan, of, of frightening the shaitan and having him flee from you. So the person who remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in fact, is ridding themselves of the shaitan. Another benefit of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that it will cause... the person who remembers Allah to seek the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and please Allah the Almighty, Ar-Rahman, the Most Merciful. So this is a way to please the Most Merciful is by remembering Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the third thing the Shaykh mentioned is that by remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that this will cause a person their sadness depression you know and worries their their stress to be removed from their heart and that this will cause ha- uh, happiness and energy in the heart another benefit that he mentioned rahimahullah ta'ala is that he said that also it will strengthen the heart and the body by remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often. The fifth thing that he mentioned is that it will cause light to be, a person's face to be light and their heart to be filled with light. The sixth thing that he mentioned is that it is also a means for a person to have their their rizq or their wealth to be increased their provisions so if you want your provisions to be increased then remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often by supplicating to him praying to him reading the Quran uh, saying subhanallah walhamdulillah wallahu akbar and all the various ways in which we praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praise him often on your tongue and this is a way to also increase your rizq Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not only increase your body your health physically mentally and spiritually but also your financial risk and another benefit is that it will cause the person who is remember, remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to taste the sweetness of iman and have uh, light to have light and to to carry that with them The person who is fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and remembering Him often, they will carry that with them. In a sense, having an aura, an, an aura of, uh, of light. And another benefit is that it will cause the uh, person who remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be a, a person who loves Allah. And this is the essence of Islam, is having this muhabba, this love, this brotherly love, and this love for, the, the, for Ar-Rahman, for the Most Merciful, for loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And more importantly, as many of the scholars have mentioned, a very beautiful faida, I was just listening to Sheikh Falah al-Ismail, Hafidullah ta'ala, one of our scholars in Kuwait, And he mentioned a very, very beautiful benefit. He said that it is not the, pur- the purpose, our purpose is not to love Allah, although this is very important. But the purpose is to have Allah love you. Then that is the true success. So our true 
ghaya or our true goal and that which we're trying to achieve is to have Ar-Rahman love you. al ghafurul wudud To have Him love you. The most forgiving, the most loving. To have Him love you. That is your goal. So by remembering Him often, this is the essence of Islam and this will uh, produce happiness and success in this life as well as the hereafter and increase your love for Him and His love subhanahu wa ta'ala for you. Another benefit of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that it will also, the more you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it would increase your faith to such a level that you will, you will go to the next level of Iman, which is going to Ihsan. To having Ihsan. As the Prophet sallallahu said in the Hadith of Jibreel, in Ta'bud, what is Ihsan? He was asked about Ihsan. He said, "In Ta'budullah ka anna ka tarah, fa in lam tukun tarahu, fa innu yirak." He said, "It is to worship Allah as if you see Him, and since you cannot see Him, know that He sees you." Subhanahu wa Taala. So, although we cannot see Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, when we are remembering Him often, when we're fearing Him and staying away from the muharramat, the things that are prohibited, and we are praying to Him as if we are, as if we see Him, even though we can't. And, but knowing for a fact that he sees you, when you reach that level, then you have you've increased your iman to another level. You have experienced some ihsan that the Prophet ﷺ mentioned. So this is also achieved by remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by making dhikr. And another benefit, and I'll mention this as the last one, the tenth, and Ibn al Qayyim mentioned sixty. And we're just mentioning ten from his from his sixty, and he said that also that you know by remembering Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala that the person will be inclined towards repentance and returning to Allah the Almighty, and this is what we are striving to do. So remember, ayyuh muslimun, strive. To have Allah love you, not just to increase your love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but in fact you want Him to love you. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of those who He loves. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put this sitting on our scale of good deeds and protect us from kulisu wa makru wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad.